In this video, I'm going to use R and RStudio to examine t-statistics of means of related groups. Could be paired groups as well. It's the pretest, post-test idea. You can download the R code by clicking on the link below. And also you can view an entire playlist on this same topic. I'm going to use a pretty simple data set with five observations. And there are a lot of steps you'd have to complete to do this by hand. R like a lot of tools, simplifies this process. So when we use R, what we do is we build a little table or vector, and we combine the data or concatenate the data into a table. Do this for the pretest and post-test data. Then we run a t-test. It's as simple as that. The paired t-test default is at a 95% confidence level. I'm going to use R now. You can download the R code by clicking on the link below. So I highlight the pretest and post-test rows like that. I click Run. Now I highlight row number six. And this loads it into a table called Paired Result. We look at the Paired Result, I just highlight Paired Result and click Run, and bada bing, there you have it. The default is 95% level of confidence, but in the R code you'll see where I change it to 80 and 90% level of confidence, as well as how to set it up for a one-tail test greater than or less than. R produces a lot of output, but what's really important is your t-score. Degrees of freedom is also important. In this case it's 4. And really the most important thing is your p-value and you always check to see if it's less than 0 0.025. In this case it is less than 0 0.025 and my results are statistically significant which means I didn't get these by luck or random chance. Share the love, share the knowledge, and don't forget to check the links below for the R code and the playlist on t-statistics.